Hello guys, I recently bought a new sketchbook and I'm waiting for it to arrive so I decided I'm gonna make some stickers to decorate the cover of it while I wait. There's a place near home where I can send the drawings to get it done so I thought why not? And here we are. I usually make more digital art but over the course of July I started and finished a tiny sketchbook that I have which I showed in my last video where I've done a sketchbook tour. But anyway, after drawing on paper again for a while, it made me feel like really in the mood to keep this habit. Also, there's gonna be an event in my town and I got the chance to participate as an artist and show and sell some of my art there, so it's a perfect time to make some stickers. I didn't put much thought into what I was going to make, I really just started drawing things that I like. I looked for some references too and I wanted to make like at least 20 drawings because before I started drawing I looked up the prices and options of the place where I was gonna print it and they had a minimal size for the sticker card order so I wanted to be able to fill all the spaces with drawings and make the most of it. I actually drew a lot of animals and fruits for stickers without really noticing but that's not a problem, I like how they turned out. The first thing I drew was this lemon, I think I have like adopted this fruit as a part of my personality by now. <laughs> then I made this frog as a knight and this dog here who is a farmer and was inspired by my own dog. He has a little mole on his face so I put it right there too. This next drawing is a character I created when I was drawing on my last sketch book. I really like the idea but I think I still need to exaggerate it more and fix some things in his design. For now I just drew him as I remembered without thinking much. I started making the sketches for all the stickers before I move on to the next stages of each one. I thought it would be faster and less tiring this way than having to finish one after another. As I said, I decided to make 20 drawings and it was actually faster than I thought it would be to draw them all. So these are the first 10 stickers, at least their sketches. Now let's move on to the other 10, starting with this cool spider I found on Pinterest. I have no idea what species this is, or even if it's real, it looks like a black widow though. I decided to go a little silly with this one, and no, I do not wear glasses, but I'm sure if I did, I would find myself in a situation like this, because I have a really shitty attention span. <laughs> This one is a little drawing of my girlfriend because I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> I made some more fruits, this headphone, then I decided to draw some buildings and drew this cute little hotel slash restaurant, a lighthouse and these other little things. And done! Now we have the sketches of all the stickers, it's time to move on to the next phase, which is to make their line art. I'll speed up the process here a little bit because there's not much to it actually, it's just drawing lines over lines again and again, so I'll make it faster for you. And ta-da! The line art is done too. Now all we have to do is paint, and I confess I thought painting these drawings would take much more time than it took, but in fact it ended up being very relaxing and calm. Anyways, the thing I like about stickers is that they are very cool by nature, so I don't really need to make a very complex drawing or painting for them to look cool. I think that in general for me, having a drawing printed out in my hands in front of me makes things 10,000 times cooler. It's so exciting when I get to see a digital drawing I did materialize in my hands. It's kinda magical actually, like oh my god, I really did this. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I really like the feeling of having your own things printed and physical copies in general. It's so cool. Going back to the stickers, I liked so much how the grapes and the bug turned out, they really stand out for me. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the process for the bug one, I just got the part where I was painting over the line art, but I used a very cool half tone brush and some glow to give this effect and I really like it. For the grapes, I just tried to copy the colors of my reference and made it a bit more stylized. I think it feels very alive and bright. I also like the rest of them as well, especially the frog and the dog ones, they're really cute. So now we have 10 stickers done and we're halfway through, so let's move on to the other drawings. I started painting the fruits for some reason, I really like the strawberry on fire. Then I moved on to the small drawings because I wanted to feel like most of it was already done since I was going to spend some time on the hotel and the lighthouse ones. 
I put this green color for the background just to check where I needed to paint with white so when I save it as a PNG it won't be transparent where I don't want it to be. I painted the headphone and now it's time for the last two of them. I like lighthouses very much and after I drew this one it kinda made sense because we have one of these here in my city and it's one of the symbols of the town too, it's pretty cool. It's in a place where sometimes during the day the sea recedes and the region gets really shallow so you can easily walk there. And finally the last drawing. I like this type of building a lot like vertical architecture, for me it's really unique and it's interesting to see how people find different ways to solve things. I think you can get really creative when drawing buildings like these um, because some of them are really different and you can make some buildings with crazy shapes. All the 20 stickers are ready and now it's time for the next step. We need to print these. Luckily for you, I've already done that, of course. They printed them all together in a single paper so it's really long. It's almost my size. <laughs> I cut out all the stickers individually because I'm gonna sell them separately and this took some time. I lost my regular scissors so I had to use this one my mother had and it's probably for cutting hair but anyway after like an hour I cut out all of them and here they are. I also took some photos and put an old sketchbook there as an example. I'm very happy with the result, I really like the stickers, I hope you liked it too. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to leave a like and subscribe please and until the next video bye